Even though it is well established that the trigeminovascular system is a key component of migraine, a major question is what initiates a migraine attack. Although earlier theories of migraine pathophysiology stress the importance of the vascular system, recent data indicates that migraine begins with a dysfunction within the brain. Individuals susceptible to migraine are hypothesized to have a hyperexcitability of the cerebral cortex. In those with a very rare inherited form of migraine, it is thought that molecular changes in calcium channels result in more release of glutamate at synapses between neurons, which may facilitate the initiation of a migraine attack. In normal individuals with migraine, it is thought that some other dysfunction in the regulation of glutamate release also results in a state of enhanced neuronal excitation. In a cerebral cortex that is hyperexcitable, migraine triggers are hypothesized, based on animal studies, to initiate a wave of intense neuronal activity, which is then followed by a long-lasting suppression of cortical neurons. The wave of decreased activity, called cortical spreading depression, travels slowly on the surface of the cerebral cortex. One theory suggests that cortical depression leads to the activation of the trigeminovascular system. Dysfunction in several brainstem and midbrain structures is also theorized to be important in migraine. These structures normally inhibit the flow of pain signals from meninges to the brain. Dysfunction in these areas may result in less inhibition and more pain signals reaching the brain. Both increased cortical excitability and dysfunctions in the brainstem and midbrain are hypothesized to contribute to the activation of the trigeminovascular system, which starts the pain of migraine.